Hello, this is Renee and welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a pick a card reading. Uh, what are your ancestors trying to tell you through your dreams? What are they trying to tell you? Uh, what information do you need to know? Are they trying to warn you about something? Um, we have three decks to choose from. We have the black obsidian. We have the tiger's eye. And we have the jade gemstone. So take a moment to choose your deck. If you'd like to pause the video, go ahead and pause the video to choose the deck that you are most drawn to. And then we will get started. Okay, pile number one. If you chose the black obsidian, this reading is for you. success new moon in Leo so you may have Leo on your chart we have the seer okay pound number one I feel like you're Ancestors really want to tell you to dream big. Change the way you see, not the way you look. You know, you may want to look at things from a different perspective, but you want to dream big. Follow your dreams. I feel like your, your ancestors really want you to fly high. They want you to soar. Uh, you have the seer in the middle. Now the seer is a very important card. It's number 45. That may be very significant for you. But the seer, it represents the capacity to reach beyond the obvious details. To look inside the hidden realms where, you know, information is available to only those who are discerning enough to receive it, meaning that you're following your intuition um, and you follow it where it leads, kind of unknowingly um, where you're going to end up next. And you may feel lost when it appears that your hunch is taking you maybe in circles. But by trusting your intuition, it's trusting that your ancestors have your back, that you have their protection, you have their, their guidance through whatever situation that you're going through. And I feel like they're wanting you to trust your gut in the situation to allow your perception of any circumstances 
to widen above what you may be thinking the outcome is going to be. You know, you may see sudden, subtle cues, you know, uh, during your wake times that you may normally miss. Um, but I feel like this is your ancestors communicating with you. Then they're communicating with you during your wake time and during your dreams. But during your dream time is more significant because they can kind of speak with you more clearly. They can kind of enter your space to where they can really get their message through, you know. But you may see subtle cues even during your wake time that your ancestors are guiding you. Um, your ancestors have gifted you with their magic, you know, and they feel like you're exactly where you're supposed to be. They're challenging you to step out of any denial or challenging situations because I feel like with the seer card <clears throat> you can overcome any challenges any obstacles that you go through because your ancestors are divinely guiding you they're offering you the sight that they only see and they see you in a totally different perspective than you see yourself they see your capabilities your divine gifts you know, you may not see things the way they see you. And I feel like your ancestors are seeing you in a, in a capacity to reach your full purpose. You know, and they're letting you know that confidence is the key to your success. Whatever it is that you want to succeed in, be confident, be daring, be bold. Um, so... Yeah, that, that's very interesting, pile number one. We also have the fool. So I feel like your ancestors are telling you that you're going on a new journey. You're going through this period of innocence and discovery. Uh, you may be having a lot of new beginnings, a lot of new... Matter of fact, I just want to say you have a new outlook on whatever it is that you're trying to achieve. I feel like you are, you're like going with the flow and just taking what comes to you. You know, you're not afraid to take a leap of faith, to go on a new journey, not knowing where you're going to end up next. You're this free spirit just being guided by the wind you know and it's really beautiful because you have your companion and you have everything that you need even though it looks small you have everything at your disposal interesting and we also have the justice card so justice is cause and effect so this is you going on that journey. This is you doing what you need to do in order to step out on faith. This is you taking advantage of whatever is being offered to you. Not knowing what the, the end outcome is going to be. But I feel like with this justice card whatever outcome is going to be it's going to be greatly in your favor i feel like your ancestors are leading you into your divine path you know they are urging you to take action urging you to start something that you've been wanting to start keep doing whatever that you're doing uh, to push forward your ancestors are seeing you in a divine light and they want you to dream big. Dream big. 
but if you have hurdles, if you have challenges in those things that you're pursuing, don't change yourself. Change how you look at the situation. Change your perspective. And it's going to keep you on the right path. Because I feel like your path is leading you to something very, very interesting, very prosperous. Something that can be very um, life-changing for you. You just need to stay on that path and do the work that needs to be done. This, this Justice card also means that certain truths are going to come out. And I feel like these are you noticing the truths about yourself. Noticing what needs to be changed, what needs to be kind of upgraded, you know? And I feel like this is you taking action on whatever it is that you need to do. Okay, we also have the Four of Wands. So definitely, your spirit ancestors are letting you know that happy times are coming. If you've been through certain situations that have have kept you kind of down, kept you uh, feeling kind of low, happy times are coming. This is you celebrating yourself, celebrating your journey, celebrating your success, celebrating your achievements. You're coming into some very happy times. And they're letting you know that with the Six of Pentacles, they're letting you know that this is a gift. They're gifting you with this information so that you can push yourself to the next level. This is you finding balance in your life's purpose. Finding success. This is other people generously giving you exactly what you deserve. Beautiful energy, pile number one. I feel like with the Six of Pentacles, you may have help on your journey. This is this is help on your journey, either from your ancestors, um, which I know they're helping you anyway, but um, this is someone coming in to help you uh, with some kind of generosity, some kind of gift, some kind of help. Um... And I, I feel like it's more in the physical realm. Okay, we have devotion. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitment has been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. Yet your ancestors want you to know that you are so special. You are one of them. You know, you are being divinely guided by your ancestors to achieve great things. And you are unconditionally loved. And I feel like you also have protection uh, because your ancestors want you to be at your best, be at your most protected self. You know, you have the cosmic heart, devotion, potency. Make your life a moving prayer. Yeah, so they really want you to follow your dreams. Follow the guidance. You may be receiving downloads from your ancestors. You may be receiving information during your, your dream states. And you may want to get a journal to write down those dreams because I feel like they're coming through very strongly. They really want to communicate with you, really want to communicate information to you because they feel like you are an important part of their lineage. They feel like you are going to make the difference. Um, you're going to be very successful. You're going on this beautiful journey that's going to bring so much happiness, so much joy and contentment. And I feel like you're going through so many learning experiences. And you may be becoming more spiritual. You may be looking into um, really interacting more with your spirit guides. 
you know you may be meditating you may be um, focusing on your dreams you know but I, I feel like you're learning so much during this experience you're you're learning how to focus more how to put yourself as the total focus how to put your dreams your thoughts your desires into action you may be manifesting you may be doing certain things that that's hiring your uh, vibration and I feel that very strongly for you power number one I feel like whatever it is that the the only thing that may be holding you back is the ability to forgive you may need to really focus on forgiving the people your past you know past events really forgiving that those circumstances so that you can move past into this beautiful beautiful situation beautiful energy let's see what else do we have for pile number one yeah the queen of pentacles definitely you're going to prosper you are going to beautiful places pile number one you also have the six of pentacles again on the bottom so definitely some kind of gift some kind of help is coming your way that you're not expecting but i feel like going through these motions is going to bring you more stability um, it's going to open up your resources. Um, I feel like you are going to be very prosperous, very abundant. You're going to have a beautiful life, pile number one. You're going to have contentment. I feel like you're going to have this happy home, this happy life. You're going to have a lot of achievements, a lot of success, a lot of abundance coming your way. This is you um, really enjoying your success, really enjoying the things that are coming into your life to make you more abundant. You know, this is you traveling, enjoying the journey beautiful energy okay well pile number one if this is the pile that you chose this is your reading and if this resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell so that you don't miss any uploads and make sure to take a look at your sun moon and rising for more clarity on your situation um, or you can feel free to take a look at another pile if another pile is drawing you to it okay beautiful thank you pal number one if you chose the tiger's eye pal number two this is your reading Let's see what we have we have psyche We have surrender to the divine, full moon. And we have the wind, number 63. So number 63 may be very significant for you. That may be a very important number. Okay, pile number two. With this psyche, I feel like your ancestors are letting you know to follow your intuition being guided by your intuition you may be also some kind of psychic medium you may not be aware of it but you may see signs and synchronicities that are kind of putting you into this awareness that you know of certain things that happen you may see things that may come to fruition
you know you may have just the ability to focus on your intuition and just follow your gut just intuitively and I feel like your your ancestors are letting you know that you have this psychic, psychic ability that you may not be aware of. You may also be into the tarot or you may also be into some kind of spiritual um, things, meditation, um, chakras. You, you, you may be deep within this. Um, and I feel like these things are giving you guidance. They're making you more aware of certain things that are going on in your life, certain things that are, are making you more aware, you know. And you have the wind card. The wind, this represents the element of air. You know, it rules our communication. It rules our ability to speak our knowledge, to accept other people's words. This is not only communication, but it's only it's also thoughts, inspired ideas. It also signifies change with the qualities of both positive and negative. So I, I feel like certain changes that come into your life, they can be positive or negative, but I feel like you kind of go with the flow. You kind of take them like the wind, you know, the wind blows and it blows whether it's a hot day or a cold day. It doesn't see things as positive or negative. The wind just blows. And I, I feel like that's kind of how you are, pile number two. You're going with the flow, and you're like going where the wind blows you, you know? This is also you carrying a new sense of trust. <clears throat> and I feel like the with the wind, it's gently pushing you in a perspective of letting go of bad habits and kind of accepting the parts of you that you may not that that you feel like are flawed I put it that way um, but it's calling you to go deeper in your perspective. It's calling you to have a willingness to make those final decisions and to let go of any attachments and egos. It's moving you to bring wisdom and strength and inspired action. It's moving you to go with the flow. Go with your inner knowing. I feel like with the wind, it's going to push you into your divine purpose. With the wind comes a calling. You know, it's also a sign of change, of accepting the change and pushing through it. You know, um, perhaps you need to change your mind on a certain situation, or perhaps you need to inspire yourself to go further in a situation. Um, but you also have surrender to the divine, the full moon. So I feel like pile number one, uh, pile number two, this is a call for you to surrender to the wind. 
surrender to this divine calling that's being represented. Um, surrender to your inspired ideas. You know, take focus. Work on those. But I feel like, you know, with the winds, there may be some kind of challenge that you need to reconsider that you need to follow a different direction the wind blows in all four directions north south east and west and with each location the wind is blowing in that direction but it's also taking you on a different focus you know Like, if it blows from the north, it's bringing in cool air. If it blows from the south, it's bringing in warm air. You know what I mean? As you change your direction, change your focus, it's going to change that perspective. Very interesting, pound number two. And we also have the six of wands. And the five of cups. Yeah, exactly what I was feeling, um, pile number two. I feel like your ancestors see you for how you can be, for what's able to be. You know, they recognize your achievements, your abilities, your focus. And I, I feel like they're telling you that this can bring you so much success by following your inspired action, following the wind, following your psychic connection, you know, um, that can bring you so much success, so much recognition on the situation. Victory, good news, you know. That's what the Six of Wands represents. Something that you're achieving. These are your rewards being granted to you. You know? And I feel like you also have the Five of Cups because there's still some things that maybe you need to loosen your hold of. There's still some things that you need to let go of that you need to push through. I believe that's the reason why this surrender to the divine and the wind and psyche is here. This is telling you to follow your intuition. Follow where this path leads you. Because whatever it is that you feel like you lost, you have gained so much more. You're not losing anything at all. Actually, by letting certain things go, maybe bad habits, maybe um, bad perceptions, the way you think about certain things, kind of changing your beliefs in a way. Um, but I feel like that's not letting go of anything at all because you're gaining so much more. You're gaining so much more perspective, so much more success by surrendering to letting these things go that you know no longer serve you. Look behind you to these cups that are still here. These cups are full. These cups have emptied. You know, now it's time to discard these cups that have emptied. And we can focus on these cups that are full. I hope that makes sense to you, pile number two. Yeah, we have the Queen of Cups. Yeah, so this is something that you love very dearly. This is something that you're very passionate about. You're very... It's something that you're nurturing. And I feel like whatever this is, it's going to bring you a lot of love, a lot of passion. People will be viewing you in a different light. Because they're going to see you as the Queen of Cups. Someone who's very supporting. Someone who's very nurturing. A healed queen. You know? 
She's carrying all of her emotions in this cup. And she's holding them very dearly to her. You know, she's not showing the emotions to the world. She's holding them close to her. We also have the King of Wands. So this could be love. Definitely. This could be pushing you into the, the direction of love and marriage if that is in your cards you have the queen of cups you have the king of cups beautiful energy because with the queen she's very loving and supportive but the king he's very passionate very assertive very bold very daring um, you may be taking on both of those attributes pile number two you may be an entrepreneur. You may be focusing on something that you care very deeply about. Like you're kind of nurturing it like your child. But I feel like this is bold, assertive, inspired actions. Being very courageous. And I feel like you're doing that because you surrender to the divine intervention, you know. Hmm. Very interesting pound number two. Let's look a little deeper in this. We have light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. Yeah, so I feel like you're listening to your intuition. You're listening to those guts, feelings that you're having. And I feel like your ancestors are letting you know that you're on the right path. You're moving forward in a very strong direction. Uh, trust the timing. Trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Yeah, so I feel like, you know, you are in this divine timing to where things are going to work out very much in your favor with this Six of Wands. Time is not running out. You have, you know, the power of timing behind you and I feel like you're taking this inspired action to move on something that's guiding you you may be going by this internal clock you know you may want a family that may be why this queen and king are here and you know your ancestors are letting you know time isn't running out take your time work on the situation enjoy yourself Enjoy your journey. You know, we have guardian angel. So your ancestors are letting you know that you're being, you're not only being guided by your ancestors, you're also being protected. They're watching over you and your situation. They're watching over um, your life in general. They want to make sure that you're secure and protected and able to move into the situation with ease. And we have reconsidered. Now, I said that before with the wind and the surrender. There may be something that you need to reconsider, um, pile number two. There may be a certain situation in your life that may need a little bit more thought that may need another perspective. But there's definitely something that that you need to reconsider. Um, hmm. What is this reconsider, Spirit? Give me out the information. The Page of Pentacles. So you may receive some kind of communication. This may be you at the beginning of your journey. Some kind of project that you're working on. Some kind of job. This may be a career. Mm. 
this could also be have to do with timing because the the pinnacles the pinnacles work hard for things that they do and they're very patient they they want the details to be right the everything to be aligned you know they're willing to be patient that everything is just perfect the way they see it before it's unveiled so I feel like that's the reason why they, we have this reconsider um, there may be something that you want to reconsider how this is laid out you have the four of wands at the bottom so, regardless of the situation, you're going to have success, celebration. Um, these are your rewards coming towards you. This is like a homecoming. Some kind of situation, and you're really celebrating. I feel like th that could be the situation here. Once you get towards the end of this journey I feel like it's a celebration of your success or your rewards of being recognized um, okay well, pile number two this is your reading if this reading resonates please like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads take a look at your sun moon and rising and if you like um, if you're drawn to another pile, take a look at another pile. See if it resonates even more with you. Um, that is what I have for you, pile number two. Pile number three, if you chose the Jade Gemstone, this reading is for you. Okay. We have Madonna of Roses. Believe in the impossible. And the council. Okay, pile number three. This Madonna of Roses. You have the heart of a warrior. This is you battling through any kind of situation that you're going through. You have the guidance. You have the belief. You have the strength to battle through anything that comes across you in life. You have the strong ability to push through any obstacles, any dilemmas, any, you know, things that you feel is holding you back. You have that strong ability to be a warrior. Be a warrior princess, you know? And I feel like you are strong, capable, and valuable in whatever it is that you're doing. And your ancestors want you to know how strong you are, how valuable they see you. They see everything that you're doing, and they're like focusing on your strength, on your abilities. I believe that's going to push you in life anything that's going to bring you success you know that's that inner strength that ability to really focus on what you want and really go for it not have any fear like going through a situation fearless with so much courage so much ability so much strength you are strong pile number three even if you don't see it externally you are strong we have the council. The council is your ancestors. Uh, this is your ancestors gathering around you. Um, kind of placing their collective wisdom around you. You may be seeing visions. You may be seeing things in your dreams. See, we have the number 11. So your ancestors are letting you know that they're protecting you, they're guiding you, they're pushing you through this situation. You know, they are holding you up on this pedestal saying you are their divine caller. 
you are here for a purpose and I feel like your your ancestors are letting you know that you are worthy to be focused they're kind of reminding you of your place around you know the sacred fire that you are one of them you have this boldness this courageousness this strength you're able to go through life's battles and come out ahead you know they're, they're letting you know that you have that ability that they want you to see this in yourself. They're letting you know that this has been reserved for only you. That you're keeping the lineage strong, guided, protected. They see how focused and how able you are. And you also have believe in the impossible, the blue moon. So I believe your ancestors are letting you know, and you may see this in your dreams. You may see this during your wake time. But I feel like they're letting you know to believe in the impossible because you can achieve anything that you put your mind to. They're letting you know to listen to that inner guidance and to follow instructions. Um, your ancestors are letting you know that it's already been written the places that you'll be going, the successes that you're going to have. You're just following the writing on the wall, you know, and they're letting you know that you're being guided, you're being protected. You have their strength and their ability. They're watching you achieve these great things. They don't want you to wait. They want you to take inspired action to move towards what it is that you want. To just go for it. Take the first step. Believe in the impossible. Your ancestors have a very strong feeling about you and they feel like you are you're able to create great things. You're able to, you have this ability to see and to feel. And I, I, I feel, you may get a feeling, um, a rush when your ancestors are close to you, when they're um, trying to interact with you. You know, you may feel a rush of excitement, a rush of exhilaration. Um, but yeah, you have their support. This is you being supported in great things. You have the support of your ancestors, the support of spirits. This is you having that ability. They're letting you know that your skills, your qualities are something that's been given to you through their line, through their lineage. You know, they're letting you know that you are accepted. And <laughs> you have the magician, for real, the magician, definitely. Your ancestors are letting you know you have all the gifts available. Now look, that's, that's coming right under Believe in the Impossible. You have all the gifts, all the resources, all the ability to create anything that your mind desires. The magician... He's bringing his visions, his manifestations, his dreams, and he's bringing those into his reality. He's creating the abundance 
that he dreams of. He's creating whatever it is his heart desires. He's bringing that from heaven and he's bringing that down to earth, making it his reality. And I feel like that's what your ancestors are telling you. Your ancestors are letting you know that you have this ability. You have this strength within you to create whatever your heart desires. You just have to bring that vision down to reality. But you have all the qualities, all the capabilities, all the skill. And I feel like you're being guided by your ancestors. They're teaming up with you to create what this is to bring it into fruition. Yeah, we have the Two of Cups, definitely. So you may be really connecting with your higher self. You may be really a spiritual person at heart. Um, and I feel like your dreams are very vivid, very vibrant. Your, your dreams may be giving you a lot of information. You may have a lot of downloads during your dream states to where your higher self is giving you the information on um, how to go about this, how to achieve what it is that you want to achieve, how to, you know, giving you the perspective that you need to enter into this venture. You have everything that you need, magician. And you can believe in the impossible. You have the guidance. You are a courageous warrior. You, you know, you're ready for any battle to come forward. So this is beautiful, beautiful energy, pile number three. And we have the Ten of Pentacles. Yes, yeah, so I believe that your, your ancestors are letting you know that you're going to have a very happy, abundant life. A, a lot of happiness, a lot of money is coming your way. This is going to bring you so much good fortune, so much new perspective, so much success. Your qualities are being so valued, so uh, recognized. You know, this is you getting exactly what it is that you deserve. You're leaving a legacy. You're leaving something for the rest of your ancestors, for you know, your, the new ones coming forward. You're going to leave something that's very inspirational for your children's children to look at. You know, very beautiful energy, pile number three. We have karma releasing. Move beyond drama. Create your own path. Make room for good energy. Yeah, so your ancestors are letting you know to stay positive. Stay away from drama. Stay away from conflict. Don't divulge your energy into those things. You know, don't partake in conflicts and drama. Keep your energy good. Keep your vibrations high. Think positive energy. Um, because karma is very real. Karma releasing. Definitely. So we want good things coming to you. Your ancestors want good things coming to you. They, they don't want that negative karma coming your way. They want to keep it positive. They want to keep it uplifted and, you know, at a high vibration. We have star bathing, light body, crystal grid transmission activation yeah I feel like your ancestors really want you to take action they want you to enter the process go to the next level do whatever you're doing just do it be courageous be bold be fearless go into this journey knowing that whatever you're trying to create Whatever it is that you want to come in your life, nothing is impossible. You have everything you need to succeed in whatever it is that you're trying to do. And your higher self, your spirit guides are letting you know that you're protected. You're being watched over because you're going to have this abundance, this 
beautiful life regardless of any negativity that that may be coming into your into your space any you know um, obstacles any challenges you you can face those head-on you're ready for battle you're ready to take on that you're the warrior princess you are ready for whatever comes your way we have holy love so yeah your your ancestors are letting you know that you're loved regardless they're holding you spiritually they're letting you know that you are loved you are valuable you are exactly what they created and they're letting you know that a year from now so a year from now this may be a time when the things that you put into action today are going to really come into fruition it's really going to show up in a strong way a year from now there's going to be so many changes so many successes so many achievements tell me what this year from now is spirit a year from now the seven of cups this could be options opportunities but this is also following your dreams making your dreams into a reality so a year from now whatever you're dreaming whatever's you know in your mind in your thoughts you know whatever your inspired actions are leading you to your dreams are going to come reality beautiful energy power number three i feel like this is also opportunities opening up for you this is you able to choose your options choose your paths choosing what may seem impossible but creating it following your dreams beautiful beautiful energy pile number three well if this reading resonates with you feel free to like and subscribe hit the bell so that you don't miss any uploads and take a look at your sun, moon, and rising for more clarity on your situation. Pile number three. If you would like, you can choose another pile. If you're drawn to another pile, you can actually choose more than one if you'd like. Um, pile number three. This is your reading. So, until the next reading, many blessings to you. Love and light.